Better Call Saul Season 4, Episode Number 7. Ladies and gentlemen, we hear next week's episode of Better Call Saul last week. I believe the episode title was Pinata. We ended it. Jimmy taken out, eh, not necessarily taken out, but you know, handling the situation with the thugs that ran him for his money in the previous episode, man. So that's good. Invested in some more phones. So I'm hoping and assuming we're going to get to see Jimmy kind of, you know, continue to build that side of things, sell phones and make some money that way. Um, I don't know how much time exactly has passed from the start of the season or from, I guess, from the end of last season to now, <clears throat> but I'm assuming it's been at least a few months at this point, you know, at least two or so, right? But we just have a long time until Jimmy gets his law license back. I'm assuming we probably won't see that until next season. So I'm excited to see Jimmy kind of continue to do his little shenanigans because it's like we're getting to see the character of Saul be born and really come into fruition, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like in comparison to where we were at the start of this show, season one, episode one, in comparison to now, you can definitely see how Saul is born and created slowly more and more and more. And after what happened with Chuck, dude, I'm just like, there's going to be a moment I feel like when Jimmy finally has all those emotions overflow and come out because dude, he's just like, we see small little moments where they peek through, right? Like at the end of not last week's episode, but the previous one, uh, the two episodes ago when he was talking to, uh, I think it was this parole officer or whatever, when he was talking to him and he started going on about how things are going to be back to normal. Things are going to be better than before this and that. And now Kim last week, right? Going to work for Schweiker and Coakley becoming partner that just completely turns all of Jimmy's plans into mush, which I'm happy for Kim and it's good, but it's like, we see all these things that lead up to Saul being created. And on top of that, all the stuff going on with Gus, I love that we're going to see the lab be created and how much goes into it. I actually like, I love all the storylines going on right now, but I just want to see them work on the lab, dude. Like I could probably watch an entire episode of them just working on the lab literally building it taking material out and stuff like that seeing them kind of hang out in the warehouse and everything i just think it's such a cool thing and a cool st storyline to have included in this but guys i'm gonna stop wasting time we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this episode before we do i do ask you guys on a new channel you do hit that subscribe button comment down below what you guys want to see next man drop a like on the video for your boy for reaction will be up on patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes you guys want to check that out link in the description down below Everyday type thing, huh? Whoa. Oh, never mind. Okay. I was going to say her arm ain't broken in this one, but <laughs> camera angle just a little different. Need to call buy from Saul. Saul Goodman. Wow. And so it begins. Hey, got his boy. Ewell. Okay, I was like, are they eating together right now or is it separate? But okay. Schedules are changing a bit, man, right? Oh, she getting her cast off. I've never had a cast removed, bro, but I'd be kind of scared when they're cutting that shit like they'd accidentally hit my skin, right? Those of you that have had cast removed, have you ever had that happen? I'd be fucking terrified. He got his boy heel with him now all the time, huh? I guess he's security. Dude, those are the best days when it's pouring rain like that. And you're just like, <coughs> I don't know. I love sitting in front of the rain, garage open or in the car, eating, relaxing. It's a good feeling. We're seeing a lot of time pass, huh? Maybe we'll have to wait till the end of the season to see him uh, get back in his lawyer and shit. Look at that, man. All of them. It's good she went there, dude. It's good she went to Schweiker and Coakley, right? Like, she's got the resources now. But this is the other thing, too. This is how couples, you know, sometimes grow apart, right? And it's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> you know, it's life. You, you got to pursue your purpose in life, what you want to do. But this is how you see some people that really love each other. Sometimes they just grow apart because they're focused on other things. Both facing the opposite direction of each other. Yeah. Like they're just roommates now, damn near. Yeah. She went to sleep. She's just tired, dude. 
Dude was probably waiting for her to get home. It happens, man. You know what I mean? Growing your career, focusing on that and stuff. And I, again, it's not a bad thing. It's just life sometimes, man. Right? Like sometimes you guys grow apart and when situations like that happen, you choose to either call it or you choose to just fight through it and realize that it's, you know, this is just what it is at this point in time. Sometimes you got to focus on your career more than your relationship and sometimes vice versa. Picture a reception desk right here right it's always nice to be greeted by a friendly face now over in this corner we got a fireplace guess what these are all original fixtures so that's well we're four blocks from the courthouse here so how convenient is that now there's a bathroom and it's it's cute <laughs> uh <laughs> we're gonna get that cleaned out is this a straight up like an apartment One two three four five six it's pretty big um there's a kitchenette down the hall what do you think eh so no more cell phones mm -hmm. no but this is what the phones were for so if you were a lawyer this would be a great place right if i was a lawyer <laughs> nope <laughs> Big glass high rise. I mean, you got to start somewhere, man, especially if he's going in by himself. He don't have no partner for in there. Oh, he's up. Ese es verde. Damn. Excellent, Hector. Excellent. And this is why he has the bell too, right? The tapping. Sorry, I'll take care of that. Está bien, Hector. Solo un espasmo muscular, okay? Man was trying to see if it still worked <laughs> it's crazy seeing this though dude it, it almost kind of sad because we never saw hector in his prime until you know the start of this show i mean i know we saw flashbacks but you know what i mean not consistently jimmy this is uh gary and steph they, oh, they work on my severity with right. me famous gary and the famous her steph hmm. kim says you're the absolute best <laughs> Ate a lot of cake. Oh, whoa, whoa, here it is. This is for us. Debbie, one for you. There you go. One for Zach. Thank you. There, one for Viola. And you know what? Two for Lewis because he skipped lunch to work. Kim's growing, though, man. You know what I mean? Like, you got to be happy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Almost double the size, right? Mm. Was that the girl from last episode that was scared to go? Hopefully Jimmy doesn't get super drunk and do something stupid. Where are we going? <laughs> Sorry, pal. <laughs> Employees only. Man. Darn it. <laughs> I think it is splurging a little this year. You know, don't want to be outdone by the competition. Feel free to jump in. <laughs> We're just spitballing here. This is awkward. <laughs> I don't... I mean, well, I mean, if you're up for adventure, <laughs> you know where the great skiing is. Well, it's tell you right. Mm. Yes. Oh, okay. It's yeah. kind of a long drive, isn't it? Uh, well, that could be part of the fun. You know, uh, rent one of those uh, fancy party buses. Everybody's got to have parkas. <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, I'm talking custom parkas. Uh, two words, client development. They see all of you out there cutting the powder in your <laughs> matching Schweikert and Coakley parkas. Well, you're going to make an impression. Making them spend, in more, spend more and more money, right? Aspen. Hey, that's where you want to go. Aspen is like Telluride on steroids. You got shopping, you got restaurants and spas. He's like, whoa, whoa, I don't want to spend that much money. It's like a nine-hour bus ride. Just fly. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Nine hours, that's... It is a long time to be sitting on a bus. Yes, it is. But what's that I hear? Flying, yep. I'm a private charter jet. Ugh. And I'm sorry, I'm very busy right now. I'm transporting 56 distinguished attorneys to their amazing destination. I knew he was gonna do something stupid. Well, that was something. Yep. Dude, he's gonna ruin her job there. Jimmy. Dude, like, don't self-sabotage, man. Don't sabotage her, at least. Shit.
dude, these dudes ain't never gonna see daylight. Mm. Got it blocked off and everything so no one can see, right? Oh. I guess not. We've got some work done. I mean, I guess we did see a lot of time pass from the start with Jimmy and Kim's montage. They do look a little drained too. Wow, they put in work. How the fuck did they get a skid steer down here? I mean, we do know they have an elevator in there, right? I wonder if that's in yet. Is it him? Is it the Hector Salamanca you knew? I think at this point, that's almost a philosophical question. Hmm. What I can tell you is that he's more responsive. He's making incremental improvements almost every day. I think if you see the evidence, you'll be very encouraged. It's definitely him. He knocked the water over for that stuff. It's him. I know it may seem like a small thing than that. Same exchange would have taken four times as long a month ago. And a month before that, mm. he couldn't respond at all. Damn, so it's been months. Oh, his vital signs have improved. Gus is going to see this. Also, I've been tracking his progress using the SIS with particular focus on hand mobility. Since that's his mode of communication. Sorry, Has he done that before? The cup. Hmm. That was likely an involuntary movement. He's like, that's him, all right. You've done magnificent work. He oh, knows it's him. Thank you. I understand that construction on your clinic is nearly complete. I trust the work is to your specifications. That's putting it mildly. Mm. The new wing is simply extraordinary. He funded it. It is time to delegate Mr. Salamanca's care. His recovery has been remarkable. That's all he wanted. He knows he's in there. He knows that's him. So I'm assuming he paid for the funding of that project at her hospital, and that's why she's doing this for him. And how big a pop are we talking about? Nine, 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 top guard, hide! Shit. And that set us back. Hey, Aslo. Do we see I need her? Oh, here it comes. My He knows German too. Boiling over, man. I get it. it's probably hard doing the same thing every day, repetitive, not going in the sunlight and shit. Hopefully they take in vitamin D. This you, Saul Goodman? Uh that's right, officer. Yeah. <laughs> You, uh, you want to know where I got it? Off uh, a drug dealer who got sprung today because he was using a drop phone that you sold him. Huh. Doesn't bother you that you're peddling to a bunch of lowlifes who use these things to sell drugs? It's not illegal on his part, technically. Get your van out of here. Park in front of a grocery store in Corrales, you know, someplace nice, and, and sell there. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of... A lot of soccer moms that can use some phones. Eh. I don't know. I think my customer base is right here. What's it going to be? What? It's going to be littering or rolling through a stop sign? Hey, how about you plant something, something in my glove compartment? You know what, pal? Just take it easy. And maybe this okay? is why people need privacy. Maybe this is why they need my phones. Maybe you're the problem. Okay, so as long as you make a buck, oh, the whole world can just go in the crap. Yeah, oh, shit. Dude, he's going to attack him. Damn. He he's said he's a cop. Idiot. But, I mean, technically, Jimmy didn't do that, right? So it's just Heel who's going to get arrested, but still sucks for Heel. I picked him up three years ago. Really? Yeah. Pickpocketing. Damn. He still didn't know, but he's going to make the connection anyway. You will not see me out here selling my phones ever again, right? So just do me a favor. Let's just shake hands, avoid the paperwork, and we just go home. Do you a favor. I was asking you for a favor. Fair enough. Oh, I asked you nicely, and you told me to go screw myself. Damn. Fuck, man. That's heel. That's his fault, man. That's on you, bud. But shit, still, that's heel. That's your boy. He did try and save him, in all fairness. It's probably why he made, had the accident, right? Dude's probably nonstop drinking. I mean, you give them beer on tap, plus they're German. Of course, they're going to nonstop drink. Even with all this stuff, it's got to be a little hard, right? Not seeing your family. When in kindergarten, the whole class has a nice little rest. Uh, nap time. Nap time? Good. How do you say bullshit? 
Mm. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that. But really, you're one of us, Michael. Emmentrout in German, it comes from two words. World plus strength. I'm happy to explain the delay to Mr. Frank. You don't worry about Mr. Frank. He just wants to see it done right. What would happen if we sent Kai back to Germany? No good. Kai is my best demolition man. Sure, he's a Cosmo, but, 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 but he's a good boy. They all are. They need fresh air, a change of scenery, and... Uh, women it's hard though because like you can't trust them going out ah, but i get it dude they need a mental break even if it is a day there's no way you do that kind of time you goddamn right you goddamn right wait uh what do you mean he's gonna I'm cut a bounce. deal i got places i can go and no uh no that's not a good idea you will better than going in <laughs> come on you'll have a warrant on you and that shit doesn't go away you know three years from now you're Pulled over for a broken taillight, and now you're not just a guy who shoved a cop, you're a guy who shoved a cop and ran. It's all current day. Sooner or later, they're gonna catch up with you. He didn't get D.B. Cooper. Eh? You ain't no D.B. Cooper. See, now, I, I would help you myself if I could, but I don't think he's gonna wait around a month for me to be reinstated. Oh, uh, it's only a month you've away. You've been selling drop phones? I did a little recon, and the arresting officer, he has a DUI, you know, eight years ago, and he's been put on desk duty twice. I know he has anger issues. I can attest to it, right? So we get him smelling like a distillery, and we piss him off in court. Now, now he will take the bait. He will lose his cool in front of the judge. A little stumble in there just for dramatic effect, and I have some thoughts on how to engineer that, but you get the gist. She's not doing this shit. I'm not tearing down a cop. That's okay. You tell me. I will look into this. I'm not making any promises, but if it is as bad as you say it is, I don't know, maybe there is something I could do. She's upset as fuck. The drop phones and shit. I get it, dude, because she he's been making it look like he's on the up and up at his job and all that, and he's been doing this shit. The same officer arrested him three, three years, years ago, but Babineau didn't recognize him. He, he didn't even know he was a cop. The guy drove an unmarked car. He was in plain clothes. He, he had his back turned. You had five other cases where civilians were accused of physical force against police officers, and not once were the defendants given anything close to this kind of jail time. They weren't repeat offenders. State v. Murphy? Daniel Murphy was homeless. He was off his He meds. headbutted a police officer. He gave him a concussion. Five months. In this case, the officer was not injured at all. He was hit with a bag of sandwiches. How can you justify giving Babineau 18 months? Plus a year. He has no history of violence. There is no negotiation here, Kim. And our only witness is a scumbag, disbarred lawyer who peddles drop phones to criminals. You don't know the whole story. He's gonna call you after I talk to him and you and I have to be on the same page. Huel can't run. He's gonna have to put on his big boy pants and go to jail. Oh, shit. At least for a little while. You'll back me up, right? Fuck. Good. Jimmy's not gonna back her up. Dude, this is gonna he's gonna make the this is the bro. This is probably why they're not together in fucking breaking bad. Jimmy's just self sabotaging, sabotaging Kim too, getting her involved in this dirty shit, right? Or earlier embarrassed her at the work event. Now the peddling phones thing she found out about, and now he's not gonna back her up on this either when she's doing him a literal favor. She doesn't need to be taking this case. Jimmy, whatever you're doing. Don't. Yeah, I know, but listen, I have a better way. Damn, I wonder what her plan is. Uh, better Call Saul season four, episode seven is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe she's gonna try and bring attention to it, make it seem like it is unfair and unjust, and she's, you know, put him away for longer than needed in comparison to the previous cases, right? Because she did say the other ones were what seemed like worse assault on the officers right and they did way less time if any time at all man so i'm kind of curious what her plan here is at first i was like okay maybe she's just <laughs> going to buy all the school supplies to donate it right to help kids and stuff you know do something that makes her feel good you know but i guess not dude i definitely see them breaking up a hundred percent it's gonna happen like just in this episode right you see them kind of growing apart bit by bit 
with Kim doing her stuff and Jimmy doing his stuff this whole time Kim thought you know he's just doing the cell phone thing not peddling cell phones but working at the cell phone store now she finds out he's been peddling cell phones to criminals on top of that you know he's pulling her into this and on top of that he kind of embarrassed her at the work thing a little bit he was obviously pushing to make him spend all this money on an expensive ass trip right so I get it I definitely see them breaking up here I don't know what it's gonna be but it seems like we're having the boy we're gonna hit like a boiling point and everything's gonna kind of just boil over and explode dude obviously you know this episode we really 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 see the birth of Saul you know he's got his business cards and everything but oh I don't know man it's it's tough to see but I love that we're getting to see more of the lab being built they put in work not only that I was just talking about it at the start of this episode and you know how much time has passed and everything I guess now we know he's got a month left until he can be a lawyer again I think we got uh what three episodes left this season eight nine and ten so it's gonna be interesting to see what happens in these last few episodes but I'm absolutely loving it guys let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below like always if you guys enjoyed this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access in the next two episodes if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one what is going on guys i hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out if you did make sure to drop a like and comment down below what is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance full length reactions and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel but i hope you guys all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one